Okay, hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome and welcome back to everybody else. Um, I'm gonna show y'all today uh how to delete the background. I know uh, in sublimation or and other things that you guys may be doing, you may need to delete the background. And today I'm gonna go over three ways with y'all. See if we can get this started. We're gonna jump right into it. Alright, so uh, to delete the background, the first way we're gonna go over is you go to your um your image layer and you rasterize it. See in this corner right here, you can see that this um this square in the bottom right corner indicates that this is a smart image. So I have a piece of paper with the the end uh bent over indicating that this is a smart image so I'm just gonna right click on it and I'm gonna hit rasterize because we we want to work on the rasterize layer okay and then uh, from there you're gonna find your properties of course your um, your screen may not look like mine your interface it may not look like mine so you just look for the tab you have different tabs um, you just look for the one that says properties. All right, you tap on it and you scroll down. And here it says right here, remove background. Okay, you just tap that. Give it a second or two or three. And Photoshop does its best to uh. To uh, remove that background of course nothing is super perfect so you can go in and make edits um, after that okay so that is the first way <clears throat> to uh, remove the background we're gonna try to keep this simple guys we're gonna try to make this a fairly quick video okay so that's one way I'm gonna press control in the letter Z to bring back my background Okay, and um, we're going to go over the second way, all right? So the second way to remove the background, you want to make sure you have your layer selected. It's highlighted, so it is selected. Um, it's a rasterized image at this point. Okay, let me, let me, let me, I'm going to convert it to a smart image so you guys can see the difference. We're going to make it back smart, all right? Now the smart image, you can see right here. In the corner right here, we got our piece of paper with the with the tab bent over. Okay, so that lets you know that this is a smart image. The second way we're gonna go over is dealing with the eraser. All right, so we're gonna grab the eraser, and you can see that my cursor is indicating that no, I cannot use it. So if you click on it, it says this smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. Edit contents will no longer be available. Rasterize the smart object, yes or no? So, yes, we want to rasterize it because that's the only way we'll be able to use the eraser. You cannot use the eraser on a smart object. Okay? So, you have to use, uh, uh, you have to rasterize it if you want to use the eraser. All right, so we're going to click OK. <laughs> All right, now it's uh, rasterized and I can uh, erase. Okay, so that is another way you can um, erase the background is uh, go in manually and try to get the background out of there. Okay, um, keep in mind that you can hold down Alt. You can right click. So hold down Alt, right click, and um, scroll to the left to make it smaller and scroll to the right to make it um drag to the left to make it smaller and drag to the right to make your brush um bigger or smaller okay all right so if i wanted to get a smaller brush i'm gonna press control and the plus sign to get um these areas over here and i'm gonna hold down alt right click and I'm going to drag to the left, make my brush smaller, and I can get in here. 
okay so whenever I'm done with that this is not gonna be perfect guys I'm just showing you guys how to um you know erase it you can hold down space the space bar click and drag up okay and you can also get those parts that you need from in there okay like I said this is not perfect guys I'm just showing you guys how to do it all right we would not be doing this <laughs> like this if uh, we needed to do this in real life I'm just giving you guys an example okay and please don't laugh at me y'all I'm using this new mouse and uh, this is not the mouse that I would regularly use. It has a ball on it. It's kind of hard to use it. So, yes, I will not be editing with this mouse. <laughs> but, anywho, okay, I'm going to press Control and the minus key to zoom back out. Okay. I'm going to press the space bar, click on my mouse, and I'm going to drag it in the center. Okay. I'm going to press Control and Z to bring back all the changes that I've made. Okay, now we're going to go over the next way, it, and it is actually another uh, eraser tool. You can use the background eraser tool, okay? And to get to this, guys, you don't want to come over here uh, and press it over here, okay? So we're going to use our shortcut key, so we know that to get the eraser tool, um, we would press the letter E. Okay, if you press the letter E, you would obtain your eraser tool. Okay, and to switch between the three um, tools within that set, uh, we'll be looking for this picture because this is the one we want to select. As you can see, when we when we do have it selected, it'll have this dot in the corner letting you know which eraser tool you have selected. At this moment, I have this eraser tool selected. It lets me know because. I have this this dot right here okay but I'm trying to select this one the background eraser tool and I know that I will have it selected because I will see this indicate this picture indicating um the eraser with a pair of scissors I will see that here in my toolbar okay so what I want to do is I want to press the letter E I want to press I want to hold down shift and press the letter E okay <laughs> And that cycles through the these three. Okay. So now as you can see, it has changed here and here. Indicating that now, now I have this one selected. Okay. So I passed up the one that I wanted. Alright. So you just hold down shift and you press the letter E and you can cycle through the um individual tools within that set okay so we're gonna go back and find this one by pressing holding down shift and tapping the letter e until we see this um eraser with the scissors in either this or this uh location okay okay we have it selected now to use this tool <laughs> It's fairly simple. Wherever you put the dot, wherever you, um, so the plus sign inside the circle is indicating that, uh, that is the color that will be removed. So if I press it here on this black line, it will delete all the black within that circle. Okay. So all the black has gone from that circle. If I press here, it will select, I'll press it right here. If I press here, it will select all the, what is that, beige um, within this circle. Okay, so I pressed it, and you see the black is still there, but that uh, beige is now gone. Okay, so I'm going to press it here, and it, it will delete the black. Okay, so that beige is still there. It doesn't look like it, but that beige is still there. It only removed the black within that circle. So that is another way you can um, delete the background if need be. If you need, if you have something that's kind of uh, you know, small things, um, 
maybe uh flowers or grass or something like that or, or a lot of different colors and you wanted to you know just only select that color you see how it got that that let me let me go back and do that again all right so you see this i don't know if it's gray or black in the background here all right so if i wanted to delete that you see how big my circle is it's going to delete that and also some of my shirt okay that's not what i wanted i only wanted to delete that um black or gray thing in the background so at that point i would hold down alt right click and drag to the left guys uh you gotta excuse me i'm working with this mouse i shouldn't have did the video with this mouse but we're gonna get past that all right and you can um easily get that right out of there okay bear with me guys i'm i'm struggling with this mouse but anyway you get the picture okay all right so that is another way that you can uh delete you know a background you know without deleting the whole thing it's just different ways is basically what i'm trying to show you guys the different ways that you can delete um the background or different things in the background okay i'm just pressing Control and z and bringing my image back hopefully i can get it all back i can't okay so and that's another thing we're working with um rasterized um images so as you can see guys you always want to work here's a fine example of why you want to work with smart uh objects because as you can see now i'm trying to uh undo what i've done to this picture so i was trying to explain to you guys in an earlier video about rasterized images and um smart objects okay this is a fine example right here i am not able to get this back this is done it's gone i've already deleted it and i've i've undoed um as much as i could and you're limited to how many times you can undo so now i have lost these permanently they they will not be able to get back unless i you know go to uh bring this image in again so basically you want to work with smart objects as much as you can guys um everything that you want to do is always a workaround to it and you can always get to it if you work with a smart object you are able to get those things back if i wanted to get this back if it was a smart object i would easily be able to get this back without pressing um undo or none of that i could easily get this back now that it is a rasterized object this is lost anything all this that is gone it is gone i can't get it back i would have to start over get the uh image and bring it back in okay so um moving on we just gonna um you know it, it this doesn't matter all right so moving on to the next one all right the next way to uh remove the background is your magic eraser tool okay so we're gonna select this one but we're not gonna press it okay we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna press the letter e because guys like i said you always want to use your shortcut keys ain't nobody got time to come over here and press this hold it down come over here find it because then first mm -hmm. first you gotta find it first you gotta find which one ain't nobody got time just press shift and hold the letter e okay mm -hmm. and as you can see guys we have this magic eraser tool selected we know because there's a dot here we have this same picture here with the eraser with the sparkles we have it here and we also have it here indicating that yes we do have it selected all right so what you want to do is just pick an area that you want to delete it and just press it okay this will not do and uh let me i'm just gonna put a background on here so i'm gonna um i'm gonna press the letter g on my keyboard to obtain my um paint bucket tool okay we're gonna color this whole background black so that we're able to see what's under it okay okay then i'm gonna press the letter e again to get my eraser tool back my background eraser tool was that my magic eraser tool okay and we're gonna go ahead and start erasing and once i start erasing you guys will see this black um background 
so that you can know what has been erased. Well, uh, oh, never mind. I'm sorry, guys. Let's do that once again. We're going to press Control, Shift, Alt, and N to get a new layer. And then we're going to press the letter G to get the paint bucket tool. We're going to paint that um, layer black. We're going to move this layer above it so that now we can see it. We have it selected, so we are working on this layer. Okay, we're going to press the letter E. Now we're going to erase. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope you guys understood that. If not, and you need me to explain it, um, holler at me in the comments, man, and I'll get you straight, all right? All right, so moving right along, guys. All we did was we created a background, and we, we, we made it black, all right? Now we don't even need this white one. We can just trash it because now we got the background black, okay? All right, so as you can see, Jesus. <laughs> I was okay, let me explain what happened just now. Um I I pressed erase and I I pressed hold on let me I pressed erase and as you can see the whole background left and that was because I was working on the wrong layer. Okay? I was working on this layer. Okay, I was working on this layer and I, I shouldn't have been. I should have been working on this layer. So I just control and Z, brought it back. I know I spelled that wrong. I did. It's okay, guys, but you get it. It's the background. Okay, and we're going to make sure we uh, have our correct um, layer selected. And then we're going to remove the background okay so as you can see guys it is doing a very good job um but this one is a, a bit more time consuming depending on what you're working on you you will learn you know what tool you want to use for different um things okay not every um method will be for everything you have mm -hmm. different methods and you will learn you know which one is best for what? And as you can see, I tried to get in here and get this um this little background out there, but I accidentally hit the arm. So what I would do here is I would press hold down control, press the plus key, and I would zoom in. Then I would take and press the space bar, click on my mouse and drag up. That way I can get a more precise area where I'm where I'm going. Okay, so that's how you do that method, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna control Z as much as I can. This probably won't get back everything because I know I've done a lot. Okay, this is about as good as it's gonna get right here, guys. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next way, the the third and final way we have is um. A mask okay so what we're gonna do guys we're gonna go ahead and convert this to a smart object because when you're working with mask you really want it to be a smart object because you can get everything back okay so convert it to a smart object all right right click and uh, convert it to a smart object right now it's already smart but you press convert uh, to smart object and then you come down here to this uh, rectangle with a circle in the middle. And that is your mask. So you want to add a layer mask. You just, play, you just press it. And as you can see, you have a box here. This is kind of what I call your protector. You know, your protector layer. All right. So it is selected. I, I know because I have this white box around it. Okay. So all you want to do is grab your brush. Here's your brush. And you know to select the guys, you want to press the letter B, okay? So I'm going to press the letter B on my keyboard, and now I have my brush, okay? So all you want to do is um, 
you want to make sure that your foreground and background colors are set to default and how you do that is you hover over this and you see it says default foreground and background color you press the letter D so to do that we're just gonna press the letter D on the keyboard okay and then uh, we want to switch because we want black on top because we know that black reveals no black conceals and white reveals okay so you can see in the dark you can see in the light so it reveals you can't see in the dark so it conceals all right so white reveals black conceals okay so we're going to press um we're going to hover over this it tells you that to switch it you you press the letter x on your keyboard so to switch i want black on top i'm going to press the letter x okay pressing the letter x switches okay i want black on top because i want to erase so i want to hide i want to hide some stuff all right so then you just paint over it all right all right and, and to get um these little areas more precise we're going to hold down alt we're going to right click and we're going to drag to the left to make the brush smaller okay <laughs> then we're going to hold down control and press the plus key okay we're going to get in there all right we're going to hold down the space bar and we're going to press on the mouse and we're going to drag down so we can get in there all right bam okay to make your breast even smaller than that you hold down alt right click and drag to the left okay make it even smaller get on and up in there all right all right and that's how you do that okay guys i hope the video was informative i hope you guys learned a lot um let's try to get this video to 25 likes y'all we got uh we got a few vi uh, likes on the last videos. Let's see if we can get this one to 25 likes, guys. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys like the video. Please comment if you want and subscribe. Please subscribe, guys. And if uh, you have anything you want me to cover in the next videos, please let me know. Don't forget, guys, practice your shortcut keys. Uh, if you have any um, questions and need one-on-one -on -one help, I don't mind helping got people. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at uh, Sir Don Johnson 29 It's the same as uh, my YouTube. It's the same name all across if all my social medias. It's Sir Don Johnson 29 <laughs> All right. Hope you guys had a uh, good uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And oh yeah, shout out uh Craft and Besties, man. They doing their thing. If y'all want to get y'all some paper, if y'all do sublimation, get you some Craft and Besties paper. It's the best paper on the market. They black owned, and man, that is the best paper. So y'all check out Craft and Besties. Get your paper, and uh, thank me later. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one, man. See you next time.